Hello, and welcome back to programming with C++. Um, today, I want to look at um, the increment and then the decrement operators in C++. So in C++, plus plus here, as we can see, this is used for increment. And also, uh, like this minus minus C++ is also is increment. So um, basically what this um, two variables, what they do is that um, they add or subtract uh, one from um, a variable, the value of a variable in the C++. Plus plus. Yeah. So um, there are two um, basic types of this form. We have the, uh, the prefix increment and then we have the postfix increment. So um, pre um, basically um, the value of um, the variable is increased by one before it's used in an expression. And in the post, the value of the variable is increased by one after it is used in an expression. So um, let's first look at the increment operator. So let's look at a quick example. So let's declare a variable of type A to be integer. Let's assign the value, let's say, um, then to that. Okay. And then let's get another variable of type uh, integer of v so here we are going to um, first deal with the prefix increment which we say that the value of the variable is increased by one before it is used in an expression so we see plus plus a so let's come here let's say c out b that's what happens okay so he realized that one was added um, to this. Okay, one was added to the A. So the A value is 10. So one was added before uh, it was used in the, the operation or the expression. So let's look at this is for prefix increment. So let's, the next we are looking at is the postfix increment. So the postfix increment, we see that the value is increased by one after it is used in an expression. So let's say A. And they said for the post uh, the plus comes after the so plus plus. Let's see out B first and let's see what happens. Let's go down around. B is still 10. Now what happens here is that for the post fix, okay, the value of A okay, has been increased now. So um, B is still going to hold the old value of A that is 10 here. But when you all out a. a is going to be 11. Let's see something. Let's say C out. C out. A. C. A is going to be increased by 1. Let's see what happens. Let's compile and run. So, oh, sorry. So, let me end line here. So, we have them on different lines. Right in it. So, then we realize that when we see out B, B as the value of A, okay, so B is assigned to this then, but A is increased by 1 after the operation, okay, and that is why we call it, uh, we call it a, a post increment. So we can see that now when we call out A, A has been increased to 11. So let's also look at the decrement, okay, uh, operator, and the decrement, I'll still going to look at the pre uh, uh, decrement and also um, the pre, uh, the post decrement also. So Let's look at this here. Let's let's get rid of this. this. Alright, so you have a variable of type, let's say it's still 10. Okay, so this time around you are looking at um the decrement operator. So you have another variable in B which equals to so you are looking at this is the pre-decrement. So you say minus minus a. So when we come here, we say C out. Yeah, so it's CRB. So we realize that we have B to be 9 here. So that is the break fix um, uh, decrement operator. So let's look at the um, post fix. So with the post fix, we just have to change this value here. Let's bring it here. Then let's see out this one 
Okay, let's see out A. Let's see what happens. So you see out A. Now A is going to change to 9, but B is going to store. So let's see out A and B at the same time. So let's just see out A. Okay, so let me analyze so that they don't all fall on the same line. So let's, let's do this. Let's see. So we realize that when we said C out A, you said this is a uh, post fix increment. So um, basically, um, the value gets changed after the expression has been used. So now B has been assigned to the value of A here, that is 10. Yes. And then A here is going to the post flex decrement. As such, it gets reduced um, by 1. So it changes to 9. Yes. So this is it for uh, post flex and then um, uh, prefix um, for decrement and then increment operators. Thank you very much. Thank you.